welcome back to my channel sports fans okay let's get into this one right here the denver nuggets get exposed humiliated dominated and embarrassed on national tv in a closeout game wow wow nuggets only score 14 in the first half and nine in the fourth quarter what an embarrassment to the nba this was an embarrassment. Look, this is what I'm going to tell you. I'm not like the media. I'm not going for Denver and then going back to Minnesota and going. No, I'm critiquing these players for what they are because they keep telling us the ESPNs, the Fox. And I'm going to tell you the uncut hoops, the uh, chap attacks, all this stuff about how good this team is, how good Joker is. I'm not buying it. I don't have a dog in, a, in this race, and I'm not trying to get views on this channel. When they're trying to compare this Joker to the all-time greats, I'm not having it. You guys got to put some context in it. The defense. This guy plays no defense. No defense in this era. Wide open lane for anybody to drive. And I'm not trying to put all this on Joker. I'm not doing it. But what I'm going to say about Joker is this guy is a joke on defense. A joke. If I had a dollar for every time this guy uh, backpedaled away from the the, the the opponent when they went up for a, a layup or drove to the basket or this guy didn't even contest, if I had a dollar for all that, every time he did that, guess what? I would be eating lunch free for a whole year. This guy is a joke on defense. The same way LeBron can play 22 seasons, 21 seasons, at the high level, he's playing that because this guy plays no defense. And I'm going to tell you what, Minnesota is a better team than Denver. All Denver can do is play offense. Once that offense goes away, they're done. They're done. Yes, can they play offense at a high level? Yes. But when that, that little bull crap they're playing with Joker always having the ball at the top of the key at the foul line and handing it off to somebody and they start bricking it up it's over that whole thing gets exposed and I don't care if they go on to win this series this is not an all-time great team to me just because the effort they put forth it looked like uh game four against the Lakers where these guys just gave up in the fourth quarter. The difference is these guys gave up this game. Uh, well, I, I would say, well, yeah, in the fourth quarter, totally. But I would say these guys gave up in the in the first quarter. Not in the fourth quarter, <laughs> the first quarter. Because they knew they were going back to Denver. No defensive effort. Not not I, I don't care if they go on to win the championship. This is not an all-time great team. And I said before. If they win this series and go on to win the championship, the the uh, degree of difficulty for them winning the championship, I'm not going to go back and relive what I said, but most people know what I said. If you go back and look at my videos and go look at my, my, my post, my community post, no way is this all time great team now. No way. No way. No, 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 no. To me, I'm going to be honest. Minnesota is a better team. They might not be better offensively, but when you put their offense, which is good, in a defense, they're a better team than Denver. And Denver doesn't deserve to win this series. Not because they lost tonight, uh, because they got dominated tonight. So whether they gave up or they just got dominated I'm, I'm not buying it. They're not an all-time great team. Not after this effort that they put up. You don't get humiliated like this. I mean, people are going to be thinking this thing was rigged. This didn't even look like an NBA team. The Denver Nuggets. No way. No way. No way. Joker is not in the top 10. I don't care if he was a championship. No team in the playoffs got embarrassed like this this year. Not even the Lakers. This is embarrassing. 
Because like I said, either one or two things, either they quit because they knew they was going back home or they just got dominated and the championship team should never be dominated like that. An MVP player. Now, I, I, I've seen teams lose by 25, by 30, and they were just getting dominated, but they were out there putting up the effort. Miss me. This guy could never be a top five center. I'm trying to tell you. I don't care who's on ESPN, who's on Fox, who's on all these channels on YouTube trying to get these clicks. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. Take your offensive game and shove it up your butt. Because when that ain't working, you're done. You don't play no defense, Joker. A guy who never even made a defensive second team. And is an all-time great center. You're trying to tell me this? Stop it! Basketball is offense and defense. And only the greats. Got in that top five for playing offense and defense. In the top five centers. I'm not buying it. It was an embarrassment if you didn't play defense back in the days. And this is why they changed these rules. So these international players could come over here and just, oh, I'm going to just play offense. I'm going to just play offense. That ain't how it goes. They need to change this game back to where it was uh, an American game. So all these soft international players can play basketball over here. I'm not buying it. Tell me the great international players that play defense. Tell me. Or should I just say European, right? And it is what it is. I'm not trying to jump on no Gilbert Arenas band rat wagon, but it's starting to look obvious, right? Tell me the great European players that play defense, that were two-way players. I don't know too many. And I'm only mad because I'm sick of seeing this guy backpedal and backpedal and let people get layups all the time going to the basket right in his mug. Joker. I mean, wow. We talk about LeBron not playing defense. This guy is in his prime and not playing defense. It's not going to cut it for me. All this backpedaling and getting out of the way when a guy's going up for a shot. Get the foul and contest the guy. And this is Denver most of the times. Not just Joker. I see it from Murray. I see it from Kevin Porter Jr. I see it from a lot of these guys. They won't even contest these guys while they're up in the air going to the rim. What's the contest? Slow down and get, give them a hard foul. Slow down the game. What are you doing? They don't deserve to win this series. I hope they lose. They don't deserve to win this. Because when their offense isn't clicking and nobody's buying that hand the ball off joker type of stuff, when that, when, when that ain't happening, when that ain't going down, they're useless. This team plays no defense. And don't tell me, oh, they won three straight. They won three straight, banging out threes and playing great offense. Not because they shut Minnesota down. On defense. That, that didn't happen. This was an embarrassment. For them to be on that early at 830 on that slot. And them just get ran off the court. I don't care. Like I said, I don't care if they quit. Or they just got whooped. Either way, it's an embarrassment. And this is why I don't gamble. And if you, if you gamble, you're a damn fool. You're a damn fool. An all-time great championship team would have closed that out. We talk about a lot of times. Well, first, let me say this. When we talk about all-time great teams, we talk about teams that maybe lost one or two games going to the, to, to the uh, finals. Those type of dominant teams. The Bulls, the Lakers, the Celtics, the Pistons, um, the, the Warriors. These all-time great teams, it was a time where they only lost one or maybe two games on route to the finals. And sometimes only lost one game in the finals. This is not an all-time great team. 
I don't want to hear about no no Jamal Murray. I don't want to hear it. He wasn't the only one. Don't don't scapegoat this guy. Don't scapegoat him. Do not scapegoat this guy. This was horrible. Don't tell me how how efficient Joker was. I, I don't care. Let me see something right here. Joker was 0 for 4 from the 3. I mean, come on now. All these guys were plus minus um, minus 32, 24, 28, 25, 27. You know, their starting lineup was, it was a joke. Joker had 22. How many? Nine boards, two assists. Wow. Well, <laughs> he... That's why I say these assists are really overrated for Joker because he's not this floor general like Magic Johnson, Chris Paul, Steve Nash, Jason Kidd, these type of guys. He's not he's not coming down and being a floor general. He just has the ball in his hand, has the ball in his hand at the top of the key, handing it off. So if these guys brick it up, he don't get the assist. He's no <laughs> – what they try to do is they try to change the game of basketball for these international players. Hell, and when you look at Denver, nobody on their team really put up dominating stats. Edwards had 27. Um, the, the the second highest scorer was McDaniels with 21. But everybody got in. Bench players got in, w w was killing it. Th this is not acceptable. Not a 10-point loss. Not a 20-point loss. Not a 25-point loss. A 45-point loss. Denver don't deserve to go... To the next round. I don't care if they come back to the next game and dominate. You better beat these guys by 45 like they beat you by 45. You better do it. And I, I know it's hard to win four in a row. Nobody cared about that. Nobody cared if you lost. As long as you was competitive. I saw these guys just going through the motions. Especially by halftime. This is not an all-time great team. I, I take my words back. Even if they win the championship. They're, they're just not. I mean, you're, you're trying to tell me that this guy, Joker, will measure up to Hakeem? Moses Malone? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Will Chamberlain, Patrick Ewing. Did I say Hakeem Olajuwon? David Robinson, even Tim Duncan? They will crush this guy. Bill Russell will block his shot 10, 10 rows in, 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 into the crowd. Block his shot. Get the hell out of here, bro. And they would dominate him. He could not stop them. Shaq would crush this guy. Who was that? Um, that that Shaq dunked on that day and just like hung on him. Was that uh something Dudley, Chris Dudley, or something like that, or Dunleavy, Mike Dunleavy? <laughs> the Joker would be a great Oster tag back in the nineties. A great Oster tag. That's that's all he would be, if that. Because Greg, so okay, Greg Ostertag, he was a good defensive player. He was blocking shots. He would be a Greg Ostertag. Nobody is, they're not going to pull this stuff in the 90s. It's not going to happen. Dudes play defense. I'm trying to tell you, he's not going to get all these rebounds with nobody under the hole. It's not going to happen. And him backpedaling all the time. I'm not trying to say backpedaling and jumping. No, just backpedaling and letting the guy get the get the layup or the dunk. Or just getting the hell out of the way. Oh, he tried that in the 90s or the 80s. He would be on a damn bench. Bro, at least take the charge. And I see this with the whole Denver team. Uh, 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 this is how guys was back in the 80s and 90s. At least if you know you couldn't stop the dude, just take the charge. 
Try to take the charge. Harf out a guy. Let him know you ain't about to come in this hole and just do what you want to do. And that's why you see Michael Jordan with a lot of these acrobatic uh, uh, adjustment shots in the air because they contested him a lot or they was trying to get the offensive foul or the defensive foul, whatever you want to call it, offensive foul. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. They got a lot to show me to be an all-time great team. In no way is this guy in the top five of all time for centers. Get out of here. Guy plays zero defense. Zero! And I'm not putting this all on him. I'm putting it on all the team, but he's the leader. He should have been able to rally the troops. This is what we need. This is what we need to stop. But when this guy's not playing a lick of defense and literally getting out of the way of, of, of the offensive player, it's just it's, it's disturbing. I don't even know what to say. And I see it so many times throughout this guy's career. That's not acceptable. It's unacceptable what this guy does on the defensive end. It's unacceptable. So like I said, I don't care if they win the next game. We got to sit here all the way until Sunday to wait for this crap. Because these guys didn't give no kind of defensive effort. I don't care if they would have lost. This was shameful. And I, I don't care. Tell me what you think.